Hey yo! What's up, everybody? It's Tyler is aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, you know what time it is. It is Tuesday. So not only do we have a new DLC drop, Arena War, we also have a new double money event. All right, nice. Listen, thank you so much for coming out. Spend a few minutes of your day watching some of my videos. I really do appreciate it, all right? So, let's get right into the information from the horse's mouth themselves. Let's go. Double GTA cash money and RP on all arena series modes. Okay? Nothing wrong with that at all. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. In addition to that, you can play to unlock the Anus and Bravado t-shirts. All GTA Online players who log in now through December 17th will receive the Anus and Bravado t-shirts. Very simple. Just log in. Up to 35% off Mark II weapon upgrades, select weapons, and customizations. All right, and once again, we'll get into that in just a moment. But some decent money to be made with this new Arena War series. It's actually pretty fun. All right. So, the Premium Race, High Flyer, Lot 2 Motorcycles, and the Time Trial is Route 68. I always forget to do those, but definitely check them out. They are fun. They can get some good money out of them, okay? So here we go. Welcome to a new era of entertainment. Time to sit down, strap in, and battle other would-be opponents in the greatest orgy of sports and automotive gladiatorial combat in human history. The most deranged vehicles, the most brutal weapons, the biggest crowds, run your own workshop, craft your own juggernauts of destruction, and track your own carnage-filled career. Live from the Maze Bank Arena, this is Arena War! Yeah! All right. So, we got seven deadly arena events. You signed up for glory, and it's showtime. Step into destruction debris, or <laughs> step into destruction derbies, rain fire from strategically placed artillery, and wreak havoc from the spectator box with EMP drones, self-destructing RC cars, and much more. All right, the first one up is Carnage. No mercy, no disqualification, no safe word. Utilizing a host of new weaponized bikes, cars, and trucks specifically engineered for maximum destruction. Be the last contender standing in an all-out vehicular brawl under the dome of the Maze Bank Arena. Okay, nothing wrong with that. I'm digging it. I like it. This is like a combination of Mad Max, Death Race, and whatever other crazy crap you want to put into it. It's pretty dope. I like it. All right, we got Flag War. So two teams, two flags, one objective. The classic capture the flag formula reworked arena war style to include enough gasoline chugging violence to appeal to a mainstream audience. Then we have Wreck It. If you're any good at driving really fast and turning to the left, then you're off to a good start. Sure, it's theoretically possible to win a round of Wreck It by crossing the line first in a fair and square lap race, but that's never happened because the competition recently departed spectators and an ever-evolving set of traps and obstacles are conspiring to reduce you to a smoldering heap of scrap metal. Like the old saying goes, if it's not a race to the death, you're just not taking it seriously enough. Oh my god, I love the descriptions on this. I mean, Jesus, it's so good. Uh, once again, this DLC is actually pretty cool. It's got a lot of weaponized stuff in there, and it is extremely expensive. A lot of money to be put out with this. But you can get started with, you know, a decent amount. It doesn't have to break the bank. I mean, it's expensive, but you don't have to go all out with everything. Anyways, we got Tag Team up next. Arena War isn't all about ruthless individualism. Sometimes there really is safety in numbers, and in Tag Team, you're going to need it. Each team has one player in the arena at a time, and their only objective is to emulate the opposition. Teammates hold up in the spectator box, have an array of weapons at their disposal to give their partner a destructive edge. Not bad. Next up, we have Games Masters. When it comes to brutal arena designs, you can install the most exquisitely hazardous death traps on the market. But there's just no substitute for the sheer ingenuity and sadism of a properly incentivized human being. One team collects checkpoints, the other uses every fiendish tool the arena has to offer to make their plans go up in smoke. And be sure to hold onto your grudges. After every round, you switch places. Actually, I've played that a couple times. It's not bad. Uh, it's, it is kind of cool. 
So the, this <laughs> here come the monsters. For centuries, gladiatorial fights to the death have brought unbridled joy to the masses. And here come the monsters. One team takes to the arena in monster trucks capable of crushing metal and bone into the same bloody dust. The other guys get compact cars and a dose of anxiety meds. But if even one of them survives, they win. Let the games begin. Then we got Hot Bomb. Life isn't about holding on to good things. It's about passing them on, like inherited wealth or a sense of entitlement or a high explosive device. In Hot Bomb, one player has the bomb, and the only way to get rid of it is by crashing into someone else. Throw in a timer and a baying crowd, and survival of the fittest just got an upgrade. If you're eliminated from a match, pull up a stool in the greatest spectator lounge ever devised. Kick back and get a drink or play arena war wheel to claim a variety of prizes. The only form of roulette that has take control of a weaponized drone as a possible outcome. Nice. All right, so step into the arena this week to receive your double GTA cash money and RP across the entire arena war series, which we mentioned that earlier. So you also have an arena workshop and career while the Arena War series is open to anyone with a dream and a death wish, those that are serious about a career in automotive violence can invest in an Arena Workshop to begin customizing their own fleet of death machines. After purchasing your workshop from the new in-game ArenaWar.tv website, an on-site mechanized warfare specialist can help you strip down and soup up an assortment of vehicles. From fitting steel shredding buzzsaws to pelvis shattering ram bars, create a chariot fit for battle and lay waste to any unfortunate bastard foolish enough to get in your way. So it's pretty cool. You can kind of track what's going on and you also will have the ability to get major discounts by leveling up with your career in the arena war series. That is so important. It'll save you a ton of money. All right. So head to the career wall in the arena workshop office to keep track of your progress. In addition to cash and RP, every arena event you complete awards arena points based on your performance. The more AP you earn, the more rewards you'll unlock, such as discounts on specialty attire and outfits, upgrades, modifications, and more. You'll also earn awards and trophies to adorn your trophy case as you progress through your career. Got to get the trophies. And then they also have down here, introducing the arena contenders. Head over to the arena. TV website in game to browse listings for all 12 new arena contender vehicles, each available in Future Shock, Apocalypse, and Nightmare styles. Some are ready to go as soon as they're delivered. Some start life as humble road cars with arena workshop upgrades options that'll have them ready to burn in no time. So you can basically just buy these. There's a there's several vehicles that you can buy outright and they're ready to go, or you can start from the ground up and move them on. And here's an example of one of them right here. Okay, uh, th these are. This is giving you an example of the three different themes. Okay, there's themes. You have the future shock, you have the apocalypse, and you have the nightmare themes. Okay, so it, it just just depends on your style. But those right there are the ones that are ready to go, and you can jump right into it, or you can just buy them uh, normally, this regular price. I believe that is the rat loader. You can buy it for just you know not not too expensive and upgrade a little bit as you go. And here it is right here. It's called Introducing the Bravado Sasquatch, a super heavyweight arena contender vehicle. Compete and destroy in three styles. The Apocalypse, which is on the left, Future Shock in the middle, and the Nightmare. The Nightmare honestly looks the best. It's just crazy. It looks like some kind of crazy clown. I do like the Apocalypse. That's your Mad Max style. It's pretty dope too. Um, you could also get exclusive t-shirts. This is what they look like just for logging on through December 17th. You get the Anus and then the uh, Bravado t-shirt right there they hear some of the discounts they were talking about earlier uh so step outside the arena and benefit from up to 35 percent off the following mark two weapon upgrades and customization 35 percent off luxury finishes 25 percent off mc and combat mg 25 percent off snipers 25 percent off smgs 25 percent off shotguns 25 percent off pistols 25 percent off explosive throwables and then body armor all 25 percent off so, guys, listen, there's a ton of vehicles coming out. A lot of stuff going on with this. Enjoy it, okay? Make sure you follow me at Twitter right now. Get on your phone. Get on Twitter at TylariusYT. Jump on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Tylarius underscore YT. Check out my merch, redbubble.com at Tylarius. Just search that or spreadshirt.com 
and you can search Tyler. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. Peace. Out. Yeah.